Okay, so we're going to look through the garden, kind of just give an update, see where things are at. Things are definitely in. When you see things, it's kind of like children. When you see them every day, it doesn't seem like they're growing that much. Um, so that's kind of how I feel with these plants. They don't seem like they're growing, but if I look at my before picture and my now picture, they're definitely bigger or more full than they were when we first put them in. So let's see what we got here. All right, so up here, we've got some nastrium. I'm not sure exactly how you say that. Nastriums in the tire. We've got our kohlrabi's doing well. Here we have tomatoes and peppers alternated in these two rows. Um, we did have broccoli in this row. The first one right here died and then a couple days later the second one right here died and now this third one is looking pretty sad. We have our last one standing which looks pretty healthy. Hopefully it makes it. Um, we have our peas growing right here. We've got some sunflowers in the other tire. Patio's almost finished. I can't wait. And then up here, very sporadic potatoes. Only a few from each row. There's four different varieties here. Each row is a different variety. Um, you can see which ones are doing better than others. And then we have our cabbages. Our spinach has already bolted right here in the middle. Um, so we didn't get to really harvest any spinach. So I'm going to try that again in the fall. Um, see if we can do a little bit better. So we've got our purple cabbages over here. Green cabbages on the other side. Which some look better than others. Again. Then we've got our Brussels sprouts growing next to our cauliflower, which is also very tiny. It's not thriving, that's for sure, but we'll see. Maybe it'll surprise us. We've got some more peas on this side. Celery, never grown celery. The celery seems like it's doing pretty well, actually. Um, I don't know what it's supposed to look like, but it looks healthy. We got some more sunflowers on this side, some more nastriums, the sheep talking, and then over here we've got our beets. I've got golden beets and um, red beets. So you can see the ones with the red stems, those are the, gold, the red, and then you see these ones with the yellow stems, they're the golden. Um, we've got some more different peas over here. We've got some cucumbers working out over here. They're not as full. And the same thing over here, cucumbers, peas. Over here we've got some beans that finally sprouted. They took forever because the little chickens were in here and I thought they ate them all. But it doesn't look like they got all of them, but they are kind of sporadic. And then we've got onions in here. It's kind of hard to see but it looks kind of like grass. Um, those seem to be doing okay. They don't look fantastic, I don't know, but I don't know what a healthy onion growth looks like as opposed to I'm making it onion growth. And then our carrots, I wanted to come through and weed these out, or not weed them out, thin them out because they're, I just got anxious and I sprinkled seeds and so they obviously are way too bunched up um, and I don't know what will happen I'm tempted to thin them out and try to transplant them to another section of the garden uh, but I don't know if that's futile or not so we'll see lettuces are finally doing well those are probably the ones that took the longest and seemed like they weren't gonna do anything so that's kind of fun we've already picked a little bit of that Kales, oh, with some random purple kale seed. Doesn't look like that one's doing so hot. Must need, need some water. Um, so some of these are bigger than others. Some are doing better than others. And then we finally got some asparagus shooting up. So 
so that's fun. It's kind of cool when they sprout, they actually look like an asparagus, and then they start to get all hairy. Um, and then, if you remember this whole section down here that I dug out all the weeds and the grass is doing pretty well. Every, almost everything is sprouted. I've got some marigolds along this whole strip right here. And then along the fence, we've got some uh, nastriums. And then these are all different varieties of pumpkins. Just got some fresh dust down, which is super nice. These two middle rows are um, butternut and zucchini. And then over here, most of our watermelons have started to sprout. So then we've got three rows of watermelons right here. All different varieties. Um, so some have sprouted, some have not. Um, but for the most part, and then down at this end, we've got um, sunflowers along this whole stretch all the way to the end because we've got corn and tomatillos down here. And apparently corn, sunflowers, and tomatillos do really well together. So we've got our corn, and I drive by the farmer's fields glance over at their corn to see how tall it is and we're we're a close second to how tall theirs are so i think we're gonna actually get some corn this year which is gonna be so fun and then i've got flowers in the tires flowers and there's some cosmos in this tire of course our fruit trees our raspberries are still we got um shoots from a friend's garden some of them are getting a little sad um, but a lot of them seem to be doing really well so I'm hoping that they make it and that we'll actually get to harvest some raspberries this year I've been trying to grow raspberries and strawberries for oh and here's our rhubarb I've been trying to grow raspberries and strawberries for like five years now and they just don't want to grow for me. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Um, so I ordered 50 bare root strawberries. We got those planted in. We got, um, and then we got three bare root raspberries that two of them made it. The third one doesn't look like it's doing much, but so out of 50, in this barrel around our elderberry, there is one. Actually, that's not true. There is 28 in here, I think. And only one has leaves. And then in our other bed, we have in this bed, there are 25 in here. And we have one, two, three, which that one looks like. Oh no, it needs some water. And these are all the garlics that we'll get to harvest soon. So yeah, out of basically 50 bare root strawberry plants, there's four that are, <laughs> that look alive. <laughs> I don't know if the other ones are just going to take root and maybe they'll sprout back or if these four are going to have to fill in the gaps for the rest. We don't know. We'll see. So that's everything so far in the main garden. The overflow garden, we'll go take a look at that one later.